hello everyone welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to work with power apps cards in power platform if you go to power apps you will see the cards option click on the cards option and give a name here create a card and give a name here and let me give uh, a name here capture feedback normally what i want to do i want to create a card and when someone use the card i want to save the data in our data bars okay so let us let us design the card so here this is the card i want to design so let me define some title of this card so this is the card designer introduced by microsoft in our power platform or power apps so let's say i want to define my title of the card here so the benefit of this using card in the card is you can share your card with other users to capture data okay so it's a it's kind of card format okay so let's say you can rate and give a feedback for your product you are using okay so this is a subtitle of my card and in this card you can see the left side insert panel data panel and on the right side the property panel okay you can use that uh, panels now let me add some input controls okay i want to add an image let me drag a image and drop it on the card i want to display an image uh, using a url so let me sort a image from uh, online so let me go to a website called ondra uh, but here i can't find any image link right because you need a image url to insert in your card so let me uh, check once more if i can right click and copy url no so i cannot use this so let me go to another uh, url to copy a image let me go to google.com where i can search an image okay so here i am searching a feedback image let me search feedback just a, a dummy image any image you can use for this um, tutorial so let me use this image right click the image and click on copy image url okay image address now this address image i can provide here in the url so that the image will render in my card okay now you can change the uh, size of this uh, image small medium and uh, large stretch right depending on your requirement you can do that but i want to make it as a large image not uh, a stretched image because i need more uh, fields to be there on the input field uh, to be there on the card form so let let it be large or let it be large size and let me go to input controls and add some text inputs first i i want to put a input to capture name field of, of a customer okay so you can provide the label property of this text input as name and define the id of the text input let's say txt name okay because this txt name will be used for submission data submission to dataverse drag another input control let's say it is our uh, uh, rating control so i want to provide a label as rating and i want to restrict this uh, number input minimum value one and maximum value five so i can use the property panel to define the maximum and minimum value of this number input now you can see i have, I have provided minimum value one and maximum value two maximum value five next i want to add another uh, input control to capture comments or feedbacks so drag a you can also add you know buttons time picker drop down checkbox depending on your data capture requirement you can take so let me take another input but before uh, you can take a button but before that you can take a rich text box i mean multi-line text box to capture comment but let me use a button first btn submit and define the label or title as submit and drag another input text input before the submit button here i can on the submit button i can write power fx so that i can uh, save data to dataverse or data source add a data source let me add microsoft dataverse here you can only at this moment you can only add dataverse as a data source connector so when you add data choose data source it will create a connection for you and here you can choose a table which table you want to connect with this card i want to use client feedback so select it 
Now on the submit button, I can write power FX here. So write down a power FX to insert a record in Dataverse client feedback table. So how to use that? You can use power FX collect and inside that you have to pass the data source. My data source name is client feedback. And inside this next parameter, second parameter, you have to pass the fields and its value with JSON format. So name field I want to assign the txt name which is the uh, text box to store the name information in the card and you have to use text power fx to convert that value to text okay otherwise it will uh, show, show error now in the rating also let me check what is the rating control id go to rating control and change it to txt rating okay now in the submit button i can write down here rating equal to txt so you have to convert here there is no need to convert to text because rating is a integer field so you can directly put uh, txt rating it will automatically implicit convert the data type let's take another text input to display multi-line text uh, to uh, capture the comment information in the label you can put uh, comment and uh, enable the multi-line property flag here in the property so it will display multi-line text box now once it is done you can go to the power effects to add comment field also because i want when the feedback record will be created it will take three fields name rating and the comment so you can connect this comment field to uh, the txt comment let me check what is the uh, comment field uh, id so go to the comment and check yes it is not changed so to so change the input id as txt comment now go to the submit button and change text power fx inside that you need to pass txt comment right so for conversion you need to uh, use text power fx otherwise if it is directly implicit conversion no need to use text now once it is done you can save it and test this now we have successfully created the card by connecting to our dataverse to create records we can share this card using a url to any user of my choice in my organization okay now let us test this how it works now you see this is the card that is generated okay and here i can provide some data to this fields let's say name i am providing some value here and rating i want to give uh, between one to five you see you can only enable one to five you cannot use other other values so let me use some rating here let's say four and give some comment here in the comment box and once you give the comment and click on submit the record will be created in the data horse okay now immediately the record created let me check let me open a model driven app i have created where i can uh, i display the client feedbacks now this is the client feedback feedback uh, view and you see this is the record that has been created right this is through the card that has been created in dataverse now you can see you can immediately create a card to capture data and save the record inside the dataverse you can share this card using a link to to a, a group or to a email or anywhere you can share this link and on open that link it will open the card so that user can give input and you can capture the records okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand how you can use cards in power apps thanks